So my Adobe stock earnings right now, as of mid-July 2023, I am looking at a total of $12,884. And uh, that doesn't seem bad to me right now based on how things have been going so far this year. So roughly that's about $2,000 a month. I'm hovering in that $100 a day range here. Uh, things actually picked up pretty well in June and July. Uh, surprisingly, normally you think about the summer slump that you enter uh, in June, July, August. I'm going to compare it now to 2002 to see what my earnings were for the same period a year ago. And... 12,993. So I'm just a little bit behind where I was one year ago. And like I said, you can see normally you do have a summer slump, which I did experience last year. I was kind of flat here for most of June and July. Didn't have too many days that peaked for me here. Something that might be more useful for you is what are the topics that have sold for me? So I put together an analysis of the top themes that I've been selling at Adobe Stock so far this year. This is me going through my image sales ranked by the amount of income or earnings each image brought me and put them into buckets by theme. And the, I did see some pretty common themes uh, once I did this analysis and, and ranked them by topic. And you can see this is the information that you might be able to make use of as you're trying to find topics that'll sell for you on Adobe Stock. You can see number one theme for me was diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. I had a number of images along this theme that uh, really stressed this important topic that a lot of organizations are trying to uh, navigate these days. Next was how-to steps and processes. That was a hot theme. Uh, a check. Uh, I actually have an image of a check that's a blank check that uh, was always a hot seller for me, has been for many years. Uh, you might want to look into creating something like that uh, for your use as well. Old versus new. That's just uh, you know new and improved or comparing something that is in an old state versus something that is much newer, more modern. So contrasting something old-fashioned and, and new, maybe technology or just other some other kind of product. Limited time, time running out, always hot when a business is looking to uh, illustrate the fact that they have a special going on and you need to act now before time runs out. That That's a hot theme that is really useful for Microstock customers. Contests, raffles, lotteries, trying to win a big prize, enter to be the winner for uh, some kind of competition. And really similarly, the next one down being a winner. Uh, a trophy or award of some kind, being the best performer in some kind of contest competition. And again, the next one down, best job candidate. Pretty similar idea. You're interviewing for a job. You're the top candidate that uh, the HR team has interviewed and you've been chosen for the job. And then we get to one that's a really hot topic of the moment, the idea of generative AI. These are tools, like chat GPT or imagery or just applying machine learning in, in a business to improve processes. Again, it's, it's the idea of improving your business, making yourself more productive, more efficient. Culture, again, going back to the diversity, equity, inclusion theme, you can see some of these themes do blend together. So the total for all of these different subjects for me was $2,300 so far this year, which, again, with my earnings being through January 1st through July 15th, about $12,800. That's about one-sixth. It's about 15% of my earnings for the year are these topics. Again, just going to show that there are certainly some very hot topics out there that uh, you could take advantage of when you're deciding what content you want to upload, not only to Adobe Stock, but to all the different agencies. I do want to point out this is a mix of lots of different formats. This is photography, illustrations, animations, video. It's worth pointing out that Adobe Stock, if you are a, a good performer for them, you get free access to their Creative Cloud apps. You either get to choose one program at a certain level. Uh, I've reached a level where I get all of the Creative Cloud apps, which is really nice. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're a good performer, it gives you that extra motivation to do well at Adobe Stock. If you'd like to dive a bit more deeply into my data of my top sellers at Adobe Stock, I will be including that in my next edition of my newsletter that you can sign up for in the links below. Otherwise, please subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you soon.